Summer. It's my favorite season, but I'm about to trade temperate San Diego for torrid Las Vegas. If you're stuck in a similar hotspot, here's a few tech suggestions to help you keep it cool. The first item I want to call out actually isn't available yet, and I haven't even touched it. The Rayon from Sony is a little gadget that drops into a neck pouch on a special undershirt. My fellow Americans might refer to this as a portable air conditioner, but it doesn't actually condition the air. Instead, it uses something called the Peltier effect to make itself cold, and then that sensation gradually passes to the rest of your body. I'll explain more about that phenomenon when I get to the last product in this video. The Rayon won't be available until next year in Japan. And again, you'd need to buy special shirts for it, but at just over a hundred bucks, this is something I'd really like to see come to the States. I'll drop a link to CNET and Engadget's reporting in the description if you want to learn more. Next up is a refresh of a device I reviewed two years ago. This is the EvaChill from EvaPolar, and it's a more compact version of the company's full-sized personal area cooler. Uh, basically a box that sits on your desk and cools you down while you sit inside a small area. I think I summed it up okay back in summer 17, so let's roll that explainer from the archive. It sucks in air with a fan and passes it through a filter made of fibers soaked in water. As the air passes through the filter, it expends energy, turning some of the water into vapor, and that energy loss causes the air to cool off. It's that cooler air, along with the water vapor, that ends up on you. Just like the older product, the new Eva Chill creates a personal microclimate, where you really do feel cooler after a few minutes inside this small bubble. Obviously, it's not strong enough to keep the heat off during, say, field trips to sinking islands, but it's meant more for indoor spaces. Eva Chill is the most minimal of the three products Eva Polar currently sells. There's only one color of the water tank light, the control wheel and display have been replaced by a simple button, and there's a handle and spill proofing for more portability. It does draw its 7.5 watts through USB-C, which is a nice modern touch, makes it a little more future-proof, and it's otherwise similar to the higher-end models in the lineup. Price, 99 bucks, with replacement filter cartridges running 30 bucks more. You have to replace those every three to six months, so basically once a season. Our final contender is the most mobile of the bunch, so for now, it's my favorite. The Ember Wave is a wearable temperature regulator about as big as an oversized wristwatch. And I do mean oversize. It has to be this big because the box has to make room for a rechargeable battery big enough to power the Peltier effect I mentioned before. It's a pretty simple concept. If you run an electric current across two different conductors, one of those conductors will rise in temperature and the other will cool down. Put that circuit on a thermosensitive area of your body, like your wrist, and you can kind of fool your brain into thinking you're more comfortable. So, does it work? Well, I've been wearing this thing for about a month, and I'm here to tell you firmly, with no equivocation, kinda. On the plus side, it's kind of amazing that you can strap a box to your wrist, press a button, and in literally two seconds, it feels like an ice cube. Or press the other button, and in four seconds, it gets as hot as one of those chemical foot warmers you buy in the winter. And I was also pleasantly surprised by the battery life. Even when paired to my phone so I could control it with the app, the Ember Wave usually lasted me all day. But does it actually hack my temperature? Eh, not really. First of all, the cooling effect comes in waves, and when it takes a break between cycles, it actually feels a little warm, which is distracting. Also, you really need to be able to focus on the sensation and kind of expand your perception to feel the cool anywhere but your wrist. If this were on my neck, like the Sony Rion, closer to my core, I think it would have a greater effect. But there's a reason you see so many marble bar tops in old restaurants, like Polite Provisions here in San Diego. See, in the days before air conditioning, the idea was you would come in out of the heat and rest your wrists on the cold stone. The theory went, over time, as your blood circulated, you would cool off. Of course, cold drinks probably had something to do with it too. 
If you want to try the Ember Wave, it's the priciest item on today's list at a buck shy of $300. But if you can't feel the breeze, Ember does guarantee your money back within 30 days. Share your tips for staying cool in the summertime, folks, and if you want to see why I've been on the left coast, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram, both at the Mr. Mobile. I'll cover it in a video coming soon. This video made possible by review samples from Evapolar and Ember. And no compensation was provided, no copy approval was given. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay mobile, my friends.